mentioned. I tried, though. I tried. I'll get it right maybe at the end. Uh, <laughs> Ashley's here. She's a, you're, you guys are both criminal defense attorneys. So, Anahita, I want to start with you. Uh, we're talking about uh, Chief Kathleen O'Toole. Do you think she's on the right track? Absolutely not. And look, I'm all for providing additional training for police officers. And I also think a lot of this was race related. I think that, you know, we, we definitely do need to have the discussion of the role that race plays in our criminal justice system, not just in Seattle, but throughout the entire nation. But I think when it gets to the point that there are certain rules and regulations that prevent officers from actually doing their jobs, you've created a whole other problem because now police officers are really afraid to protect themselves. They're afraid to protect the citizens of the communities that they serve. And when it gets to the point that this police chief feels that she needs to go and admonish her officers and say, guess what, guys? You're actually allowed to arrest people that are out on the streets being violent. When it gets to that point where you have to actually tell the officers this, I think you realize these rules are completely misguided and wrong. But Ashley, what do you think about context here? You know, I, I have a feeling, again, you, you don't see it that way. And I want you to, to expound a little bit more on some of the problems that you think this could create. Right. I don't think the issue is whether or not they're not going to arrest people for the smaller, minor crimes. I agree with that. We can spend our resources in better ways. But the issue is here that there, these police officers now have 80 pages of new rules, okay? And these rules are basically making it very difficult for police officers to do their jobs, even when it comes to violent crimes. And it's difficult. It's a tough balancing test because you do have to look at the constitutional rights of these citizens, but you also have to take into account that police officers need to be able to do their jobs. They are out there putting their lives on the line every single day. And oftentimes they have to make split second decisions. And now they're required essentially to hesitate. They have to do a mental checklist in these in these tense moments to say, am I violating this new rule? Am I violating that new rule? I don't think that's what these rules were intended for. And you're creating a very dangerous situation. And you're putting a lot of these lives now at risk of the police officers and the citizens of the community. So I think the bigger issue is really taking away power from these police police officers to do their job. It's not really about the petty theft and, and the lesser crimes. Ashley, last uh, uh, answer. I thank you both. Sita Gatfar. Thank you. Adahita, <laughs> thank, thank you, you very much. And Ashley, <laughs> Good job. Uh, thank, thank you. Yeah, you. I told you I was going to get Happy it. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. <laughs> Happy New Year.